So I'm just going to show you how I make up the bannock here. Uh, you can find this recipe on uh, maddythegoose.com, uh, M-A-D-D-Y thegoose.com. Uh, under the recipe section, it's essentially just flour, uh, baking powder. Um, it's a pretty straightforward uh, recipe. So essentially, I put it in the pot. You want to stir it up because you don't want to uh, push all the air out of it uh, by uh, by kneading it. So you just generally want to stir it a little bit. Um, add water as required. So I usually just start with a little bit of water, start mixing it up, and then add a little water as we go until we get the consistency that we're looking for. So we'll just add a little bit more here. This is actually pretty good like this. Now you can add anything you want to this. This is just plain. You can add uh, cinnamon or raisins, uh, uh, maple syrup, whatever you want. Um, now essentially you're going to want to take that and let that sit for a little bit because it's going to rise a bit. So I'm just going to let that sit for about uh, 10 minutes and uh, then we'll take it from there. Yeah, so it's uh, raised up a bit there. Anyways, what we want to do here is you want to put in a little bit of uh, ghee, which is uh, clarified butter. You can use oil if you have nonstick pan. These are nonstick pans, but I do like the ghee because um, it um, gives a little bit of a buttery flavor and that browns it really nicely. Um, we're going to want to heat that up, so I'm just going to heat that up, let that melt, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put in the um, I'll put in the bannock mixture. Right, so the uh, ghee here is just about melted down. So I make sure we get uh, good coverage in the pan with that. And now we just go ahead and take off a bit of the, uh, or half of the, the bannock here. Put that in with the ghee. And now you just want to try to spread it out as evenly as you can. It's a little slippery with the ghee. Once you get it going, it's, it'll start behaving. So I'm just going to spread this out through the pan. All right, so now we're ready. Now again, I only gave the um, the stove about five pumps this time, so it's just burning really, uh, really lightly right now. And uh, um, otherwise, you'll just end up burning it before you actually get a chance to really cook it through. All right, so now we're going to let that sit for a little bit, and um, it usually goes for about five, ten minutes per side. Um, whenever you can pick it up. And you, whenever you shake it like this, and you can hear it um, kind of scratching a bit, um, you're generally pretty good for that size. At that at, for that side, at that point, you can flip it and uh, check it, and it'll keep its shape, so it'll become easy to flip. So you can just keep on flipping it to check each side and uh, see how it's doing. So we're going to leave that for a little bit, and um, we'll get back to it a little bit later and see how we're doing. Alright, so I think we're pretty good. Um, I'll actually kind of bring it up on the edge here, check underneath. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's looking pretty brown. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip this guy over. I'll just put it back on the bag. Or I'm just going to put it in here until I can get some more ghee for the other side. This guy melt down. And we'll put it right back on again. There we go. So that's about the color you want to be seeing on it, uh, just a nice uh, golden brown. And again, the ghee really helps uh, to get that. You want to swish it around here a little bit just to get the, uh, the ghee evenly spread, get a good coverage on the bottom. And uh, rinse and repeat. We'll just let that sit again. And uh, we'll be good to go.